Hey, what's going on, my friends? Welcome to the channel. Brian the Divine here, here with you, about to do your Virgo Libra cusp reading. That's right, we finally made up the cycle where, you know, uh, the schedule wasn't on point because a couple of days off the so, uh, solar eclipse, things like that. So now we're on track, right? Sunday, Virgo Libra, Aries Taurus, Capricorn Aquarius. How are you? Are you doing good? That's fantastic. Thank you for clicking this video. Sorry about my little speech, but you know, I just had to put that out there because now, you know, everything's on track. Okay. Mission accomplished, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Okay, so let me just shuffle these cards up here. I got two decks, right? I got my Philema deck, and I have my um, Gilded Tarot Royale, right? Mm -hmm. It's the royal deck for you guys, right? So let's find out what's going on in your energy here. Uh, let me switch these up, shuffle them up, mix them up, and we'll get into your message, okay? So if you're new to this channel, hit the like button and subscribe. Become part of this family, right? The Divine Family. And uh, pay attention, because I'm gonna lay a couple cards down in the beginning, two cards, this is my own spread. It's gonna represent your duality, your yin and your yang, positive light and dark. And then I'll lay more cards out to tell your story. After that will be an outcome, a verdict. So stick to the end of the video so you get your message. How about that? Good, let's do it, let's do it. I hope y'all are doing well in your world. Fantastic. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. All right. I'm going to start off with the Gilded Royale. Okay. Royals first. Right. All right. Here we go. Here's your first card. We got Eight of Swords. Overthinking some things, possibly. Self-imposed prison of the mind. Let's see. That's half of your energy. So these roles could be switched or the energies could be reversed. So this is someone you're dealing with or this is you. Take it how it fits because if it fits, it's going to ship. Nice nice words. Ooh. So you're overthinking about taking some kind of action, right? You, you're, you're like you're mad. You're very aggressive. Yeah, Nine of Swords, taking action, action, aggressive action. Hello. Right. Mm. This is why you're trapped in your head, because you want to, looks like you want to go and chop somebody's head off. I can't with that. The collective consciousness is kind of uh, very alive. <laughs> all right. Let's get to your first card here. Let's see what this is all about. The lovers. Ooh. I don't feel it's a twin flame situation here. I think this is just life events. This is like uh, balancing your duality, right? Polarity, right? Negative, positive, duh. That's why I do these, my spread like this, okay? Let me keep going with this. Let me get another card here and get a little bit of Ace of Cups. Wow, thank you. <laughs> How do you like that? Okay, so well, I'm still feeling this energy here, this overthinking, um, aggressive action, kind of upset, mad, right? I think you're trying to like transmute this energy, right? So you're trying to regain the balance of your duality. Why? Because with the swords, swords represent your mind and the way you speak. So if your logic is out of whack, you're trying to take this action to balance that out. Because your emotions are just boom, right? You, it's not your emotions that are erect because you've got the Ace of Cups. So you're fulfilling your own cup. You're, you're emotionally happy, but it's just your mental. So there's something here that is really uh, upsetting you mentally. Because you want to move on something. 
I want to take some kind of aggressive action. Let's go. Let's see. This is very deep already, okay? Four blinds. This could be, I kind of feel this could be like work related somehow because with the four wands, I mean, that's like marriage and stuff, right? Stability, because fours are stability and wands are, you know, your passion, your fire, your mojo. And so with the four wands, look at them, they're kind of around their little gazebo of wands. And it's like a family in there, right? So the analogy would be like, you're waiting for a house to be built, right? And then finally when it gets built, you get to go in and live in it and enjoy it, right? So like the fruits of your labor that you've been working on has um, come to a point where you get to enjoy the benefits of it for whatever that is. Um, I don't know. It's very <laughs> mysterious reading today, my friends. Mysterious. Mm. Because of your investments. Okay, okay. So this is starting to get a little more clear, right? So definitely with something that you're, you've been dealing with. Right? The biggest problem, uh, the biggest issue, uh, things like that. That's kind of what you're overthinking on taking some action, right? So really what you're doing is you're regaining your center, balancing yourself out to where now your emotions are now taking over because your logic obviously is stuck on something which I don't know yet. I'm sure we'll find out the next car, okay? But here, it's like you're focused on whatever you've been investing in. So, like I said, it could be your work, right? Even though there's no pentacles out here, except for the seven of pentacles, which is just investing. So maybe you're just trying to really invest in getting stable with your logic in a project or something, right? Let's, let's keep going. Whew. Tell me what's going on. What is this? I need some clarity here. This is kind of crazy. King of Pentacles. Material wealth. This person could be very materialistic as being, you know, the King of Pentacles. But they're grounded and stable, right? They have a lot of abundance going on. But this is just material focus. And it's the king of pentacles. So now we're talking about your job, your business, project, something that has to do with your stability that um, you were stuck on taking action with, right? But you regained your center, you started focusing on um, like the project, the building of the house. You're not losing sight of that and that is what's keeping you in this King of uh, Pentacles energy, right? Hmm. Hmm. So when your focus emotionally is like on what you're working on, that is what gives you the gratification and the satisfaction of knowing that, you know, you're on top of your game. Because you're doing all the right things. So whatever this is, this is, uh, seems not temporary because it's still there. I haven't got anything to clear up your mind yet. Your just emotions are working here where that's what's carrying you over. So you're happy about what you're doing. You're happy about the progress that it's it's become making, uh, happening. <laughs> Because you're, you're steady investing, right? Mm. Mm. Ah. Six of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe if you do get into this um, focus, take action towards really getting more grounded, more stable uh, logically, you will give yourself the balance that you need which is uh, balancing out your logic and your emotions because you have the Ace of Cups, so your emotions are all set. 
it's not affecting you now you're like depressed and all this other stuff because you're focused on what you're building right and so now here i told you we're going to find this out on this side so with that nine of swords taking action aggressively to what focus on staying grounded staying abundant staying in that what investing in your material so like you got to go home depot to buy the wood if you're going to keep building your house that's what it is and so finally you get the clarity on that and this is what gives you the balance i knew we'd figure this out <laughs> what this is crazy though okay let's uh journey on with the full card how do you like that all right so now this is like taking a leap of faith so there's a journey, a new journey for you. There's something, another road that you're in about to be turning down on and go in that direction, right? Because you now got the balance. So, with the king of pentacles here, three more kings would be the emperor. So if you're investing in something, but it was kind of mind pumping you, but it wasn't killing your spirit. When you finally realize you gotta balance this out, get yourself grounded, just feel the accomplishments that you have made and that will pull your head out of your butt to bring balance back to your life. And then once you get to that point, now there's another journey you have to go down on. So like I said in the beginning, mission accomplished. This is what it is. With that full card. Mm. Let's see what comes after this full card because that's that's a brave new journey, you know. You're gonna have to have some courage, a leap of faith. It's just gonna go in a direction that you've probably never been in before, do things that you've never experienced. King of Pentacles again. Whoa. Double cards. So like I said, we're working on now two more kings to become an emperor. So maybe whatever project that you have here, you're gonna be able to turn it into something else. And if we're working towards that emperor, the emperor represents a boss, entrepreneur, business owner. Hmm, interesting. Because this king of pentacles is standing on a treasure chest. This is a huge road to abundance. There's a lot of um, money pentacles out here. Stability, come here. You know what I mean? So let's see, king of pentacles. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Six of wands. I mean, six of swords, what the hell am I saying? Six of wands. I'm looking at the wands. <laughs> Anyways, oh. Some of y'all could be moving. And that would coincide with the uh, full card, taking a journey, right? Taking a journey. Treasure hunting, just kidding. Um, no, definitely for sure with that, that King of Pentacles. And then the um, Six of Swords. <laughs> Taking this new journey, right, will keep you in this King of Pentacles, right? Because you're ending this cycle, even though the wheel's not out here, to be in this King of Pentacles energy, nurturing uh, your own abundance and, you know, really focused in investing on building your uh, material wealth here, right? This journey is going to... Now you're going to start the new journey with being the King of Pentacles. So you have the head start. So you don't have to start over. You don't have to start from scratch. Because whatever you're doing here is going to carry over into the new thing that you're going to be doing. And it's going to be very smooth and easy for you to go in this direction. Once you get the balance back and get your head out of the game. Or at least, you know, balance it out with your emotions. Okay, let's uh, journey on here, my friends. Six of Swords. Ace of Pentacles moving right down the road to the yellow brick road, right? Follow the yellow brick road. This is a major, op I mean, um, when I say major, I mean holy beep, 
major abundance. This is a lot of money. Holy crap. Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Stop it. What? So whatever you're working on and investing in, it's gonna be the like the jackpot once you take this leap of faith and get out of your head about this. Mm, my goodness. Wow. That I'm like what a turnaround. How do we just take that curve? Too much. Amazing how things just weave themselves right into um, alignment, right? Mm. All right, let's get a couple more cards here for the outcome. I mean, the outcome of the story, and then we'll get to the verdict. The grand finale. Look at you manifesting this. You are the magician. You are the... Uh, <laughs> uh, you're the shit. Yeah. This is going to be so easy for... This transition is going to be so easy for you. And you're going to be able to manifest a whole bunch of... Wow. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> All right. The bigger cards need more room because I was using my other little decks. Well, I started this, so... Just gotta adjust a little room here. Okay, so magician, what's next? What is next after this magician? I mean, you definitely have all the tools necessary to uh, get right to this opportunity of bank. Like, this is big bucks. This is like, you won a lottery kind of stuff. Here we go, last card of your story. Oh, the magician again. I have, this is fun. This is fun two decks then you get the duality of things because you'll have two of the same cards as you do with what the king of pentacles and now the magician back to back major events because they're major arcana so this is life-changing stuff and you're you are the way that you manifest is elevating has really gone from mm, making some things happen to now having no problem making anything that you want happen unbelievable <clears throat> i don't even know how i'm going to title this this is like crazy all right here comes your bachelor rose your verdict your outcome your grand finale your home run your grand grand slam right yeah what do we got what do we got Six of Swords, you are like effortless. This, 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 this. Let me stutter. This, 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 this. <laughs> what? I can't with two magicians, two Six of Swords, two King of Pentacles. You're like a master manifester. That's all I'm going to say. And you make it look easy really easy once you get out of your head stop overthinking things and just go with the flow keep doing what you're doing because that's going to bring that balance that you need to really now step it up and hypercharge this effortlessly and that ace of pentacles is just to me it's like it's so shiny <laughs> it's like glaring on my eyeballs and it has nothing to do with the lights it just means it's super prominent but these dual magicians, uh, that's a crazy. Look at them levitating the money right there. See the, the pentacle in the middle, making that shit float. <laughs> making it look easy, my friend. All right. Oh, what an ending. Six of swords, you're on your way to a very hot, on fire opportunity of a lifetime but this is something that you're very passionate about you're strong like 
You know, when you're younger, like as a kid, um, maybe your teacher, friends, whatever, your family, they like ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And you tell them, but you tell them at like seven years old, right? So then when you're like 40, some of us don't go towards that direction. So then some of us at 40 remember what they wanted to be on set when they were seven. That's that representation of the Ace of Wands. That's a burning, passionate desire of something that you have been holding on to that now you get to light on fire and bring it to fruition. The two magicians. That's all I gotta say. You have knocked this one out the park. And this is going to be a very life-changing event for you. Because overthinking some stuff is not really... It's holding you back a little bit. But once you snap out of it, then it's on like Donkey Kong. Wow. I'm going to leave it there, my friends. That has been your reading. I definitely, I definitely hope you enjoyed that one. So hit the like button, subscribe. Tell all your friends about my channel. I mean, come on with that. I can't. But you can. So go for it. Keep doing what you're doing. You're going to be fine. And then so. Okay? Well, okay. So binge my playlist. Check everything out, right? I got it all organized by folders, years, and the types of videos that I make. Okay? So enjoy the rest of your weekend, my friends. Be blessed, be brave, and be well. I'll see you again.